If you want to buy a house but don't quite have enough deposit, the government help to buy an equity loan could be for you. But what are the pros and what are the cons? In this video, we're going to find out. Hi there, my name is Lee Everett. I've been an estate agent in the UK for nearly 17 years. And if you're after the best tips and advice on how to buy and sell property, please hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you get a notification every time we post a video. So in this video, we're going to explore the pros and cons of the help to buy equity loan offered by the UK government. So what is the government's help to buy equity loan scheme? So basically what the government are saying is that they will lend you 20% of the property value to put towards the 5% deposit that you have. This will enable so many more people to be able to buy a property that don't have to wait years and years and years to save up for a deposit. So you're gonna need 5% to put down, the government will add 20% to your 5%, so the mortgage you're gonna need is only 75% of the house that you want to buy. Now this is gonna bring your mortgage payments down, it's gonna mean you can save uh, your deposit quicker and actually able to buy sooner rather than later. Another pro is that that 20% that the government are lending you, you don't have to make any payments on for the first five years. It's only when the sixth year happens that you have to start paying back the interest. But the first five years, no interest, no payments to make to the government, so you know you've only got your mortgage payment to make. So to have that five years where you know that you've got a little bit of breathing space where your payments are lower can really help pay for those unexpected things that do come up being a homeowner. So pro number three is because you're only borrowing up to 75% of the property value, your mortgage payments are gonna be cheaper and also the interest rate you get should be cheaper as well. Generally, if you have a higher than 10% deposit, the actual interest rate the bank are gonna charge you is smaller. So the more deposit you have to put down, the smaller your interest is and therefore your monthly payments should be cheaper as well. Pro number four, after your five years have passed and you're entering the sixth year of this equity loan, the interest rate you're going to be charged for the sixth year is only 1.75%. Now, if you go and do a loan comparison and you try and find a loan for 1.75%, you're just not going to find it. So the initial interest rate you are charged by the government is very, very, very good and you're not going to find that anywhere else. So after the sixth year, your interest rate on the loan you need to pay back is unbeatable anywhere. So it's very, very good value for money for the sixth year. So my first con basically leads on from the, the last pro that we had, is that although the initial sixth year interest rate is 1.75%, each year after that, the interest rate goes up by 1% plus the rate of inflation. So the cost of your loan is gonna get more and more expensive the longer you have it. The second con is you've actually borrowed a percentage of your property's value rather than a fixed amount. So if your property increases in value over the five, 10, 15 years of you owning it, the amount you actually have to pay back when you sell the property will also increase. So bear that in mind because the amounts of money you've borrowed, if the property values do go up, will actually go up as well. Con number three, is that it's only available on new build properties. So that's really gonna limit how many properties you can look at, how many properties that you're gonna be able to buy. So if there's not many new builds being built in your area, you're gonna to have to look further adrift to be able to, to use this scheme. Con number four is that not every lender offers a help to buy mortgage product. And that is really gonna limit down your choice of a mortgage. Although your interest rate should be better because you're getting a 75% mortgage rather than a 90 or 95%, the amount of lenders that offer this product is quite small and therefore the competition between them isn't as much as the whole market. So they don't need to offer fantastic interest rates to be able to get people to use them because there's only a few of them. If you're using the government loan, then you're gonna to have to go with one of these lenders. You've got no choice. Con number five, because the government have made buying a new build property easier than buying a second hand property, these new build houses have been going up in price steadily since the scheme was introduced. The one worry which some industry experts have with this is if and when the government end this scheme, are new build house prices going to start to come down? And if that's the case, if that happens when you're looking to sell, then unfortunately you could find yourself in negative equity. 
So if you are thinking of buying a new build home as an investment, hoping that the, the prices will go up and then you can sell for, for a profit, uh, just bear that in mind that if the government do stop that scheme, then chances are the price of new build property will start to decrease. However, if you're thinking of staying in the home for years and years and years to come and providing you can pay back the, uh, the interest and the loan the government have lent you, it can be a good thing. So what do I think about the equity loan scheme? As an estate agent, I'm biased. I don't like it. I'd rather buyers be buying the properties I have for sale rather than the empty new build properties. But there is genuinely a, a good thing about them. It's gonna help people who don't have a big enough deposit to buy a property and providing you can afford the interest payments after year five, so into year six, then it can be a great, great scheme. But please do your research, find out how much um, your mortgage is gonna be, find out how much your interest payments are gonna be as well, and make sure you can afford them. If you can't, stay well clear. I have sold so many people's properties that are approaching the end of this equity loan scheme because they're not gonna be able to afford the interest payments. So please don't be one of those. Do your research, do your number crunching, and make the right choice. So that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, well done. Um, if you do like what we do here, please hit that subscribe button with the bell notification. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers, bye-bye.